Hello student, today we are going to learn class 11 physics NCRT exercise problem. It's for uh, from the fifth chapter waves problem. We are going to discuss this a problem. We are going to discuss. Okay, it is a eighth problem book back problem solution. We are going to discuss. Okay, they are given some equation. They asked from the equation many data. Okay, before going to this equation, you need to know what is that. Okay, why is called displacement. Okay, y is equal to a, a is called amplitude sine omega t always with t omega will come plus k x always k uh, with k will get x plus 5 okay this is an equivalent equation what is omega now 2 pi by t what is k now 2 pi by lambda it's called angular frequency it is called phase constant okay this is called phi phi is called phase difference okay now we'll see what are the data is asked okay L lot of questions is asked okay first we'll see primary data then we'll go for the solution amplitude omega k phi phi is also one of the question okay what is amplitude 3 what is omega 36 what is a k 0 0.018 okay what is phi pi by 4 okay now we'll see what is a uh, question is asked the first question in this they asked about the velocity okay second question they asked about the uh, it's angular velocity omega okay sorry second question is actually is a frequency okay third question what is the third question no wavelength okay then the fourth question fourth question phase difference okay uh, which we know already fifth question only till four questions okay we'll solve one by one question first we'll find velocity okay first question uh, first question solution we'll see velocity is equal to uh, wavelength into frequency okay so in this equation you can write as a wavelength is going to be a omega is equal to 2 pi by t 1 by t we can call as a frequency so 2 pi f okay so if you want what is f f is equal to omega divided by 2 pi cross multiplication i did so what is frequency omega divided by 2 pi okay now what is the wavelength we know k it's going to be k is going to be 2 pi by lambda lambda is equal to 2 pi by k very simple what is lambda 2 pi by k what is frequency omega divided by 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled if you want what is velocity just a ratio you can take it what ratio no uh, it's going to be omega by uh, it's k sorry k omega by k okay velocity is equal to omega divided by k what is omega which we know already which is going to give us 36 okay what is k phase constant 0 0.018 okay if you want to make it round number numerator 100 thousand denominator 100 why is a thousand because 1, 2, 3, 0, 1000, 1000. Okay. 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0. Denominator only 18 will get. This is going to be 2 times. Okay. So, 2, 0, 0, 0. It's going to be a meter per second only usually get no. Okay. Actually, this full equation, it is for centimeter. Okay. So, it's going to be a centimeter per second velocity. Centimeter per second. So, centimeter no. If you want to convert centimeter to meter, 100 centimeter is going to be called as a 1 meter. So, 20 meter per second as a velocity. Okay. Velocity from this problem, we got 20 meter per second. What is the phase difference? Pi by 4. Pi by 4, how much? Pi by 4, we can take it as a 180 degree divided by 4, 4 which is going to give us a 45 degree as a phase difference. Now, frequency. Okay. Uh, the next thing we are going to calculate, what is a frequency? Okay. Uh, so second question frequency so we know omega is equal to 2 pi by 2 pi f so f only is a question mark okay so f is equal to omega divided by 2 pi what is omega 36 what is pi 3.14 so this is going to be 18 so if you want to make it round number numerator 100 denominator 100 so 1800 divided by 314 so 1800 314 314 no how many times will get close to 1800 uh, 1800 will get as a 1570 
which is going to give us a 5 times okay remaining how much will be there zero 7 10 3 uh, 2 okay point 0 so what is the number next number we'll get no 2 1 9 8 which is going to give us a 7 times okay again this subtraction will give us a 1 0 or uh, 2 0 already we kept as a decimal okay so 942 this is going to be a 3 times so frequency will get this 2 division this 2 division will give us a, a 5.73 hits okay frequency I got the next one what is the next one no just a wavelength okay third question is called wavelength wavelength is equal to dash we know k is equal to phase constant 2 pi by lambda lambda is equal to 2 pi by k what is 2 pi is 3.14 what is k 0 0.018 uh, okay now to make round number numerator 1000 denominator 1000 why is a 1000 because 3 decimal 2 into 3140 divided by uh, so which is going to give 18 so 9 times so 3140 9 times so what is the value we can get the first value 9 times 9 tables 27 3 times the next value the subtraction of this 4 4 ok 36 which is going to give us um, uh, 9 4 so 36 ok next 4 plus 4 8 0 72 which is going to give you 8 times again this two subtraction will give us a 8 okay so 8.0 80 72 80 72 well, like that will get okay so 888 it will get so wavelength is 348.888 meter very very simple okay thank you for watching my video if you like my channel please subscribe thank you everyone thank you for your support thank you